What is reverse T3 and does it really matter? In today's video we are going to look at reverse T3 and why it might be worth your while to get it tested. My name is Adele and I am a hypothyroid and Hashimoto's thyroiditis patient and health coach and my goal is really to help you to reduce your symptoms increase your energy and reclaim your health if you too are struggling with hypothyroidism or even the autoimmune condition Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Today I want to look at this concept of reverse T3 and whether you should be talking to your doctor about testing for this particular hormone. Let's start by understanding exactly what reverse T3 is. Your thyroid gland produces mainly two sets of hormones, namely T4 hormones and T3 hormones. Now the majority of these hormones are T4 hormones and your body has to convert these hormones into the active T3 hormones for your cells to use it. Now sometimes it may happen that there's something going wrong in this conversion process and for some reason your body is not converting the inactive T4 hormones into the active T3 hormones but instead it is converting it to the inactive, not available, completely useless reverse T3 hormones. Now there are two big problems with reverse T3. Firstly, like I mentioned, it is a completely useless hormone. Your body cannot do anything with it. And secondly, it attaches to those receptors on your cells where your T3 hormones should have been attaching for the cells to use. And now it's attaching to these cell receptors and your cells cannot use the available T3 hormones. So effectively it blocks your T3 hormones from getting into your cells and being used by your body. Now that can lead to hypothyroid symptoms. So you can feel those hypothyroid symptoms probably increasing or worsening the fatigue, the weight gain, the struggling to lose weight, your hair falling out, chronic pain, feelings of anxiety and even those feelings of depression. So what can cause this conversion process to to go a little bit haywire, you can almost say. Well, there are a couple of reasons. Firstly, severe stress. So have a look at your life, and if you know that you are under severe stress or you have experienced major trauma in your life, it might be worthwhile to check out if reverse T3 is the cause of all your problems. Surgery could have an impact on your reverse T3, you know, something like a bone marrow transplant. And then also look at inflammation, extreme diets or starvation. The question therefore is, should you go and speak with your doctor about getting your reverse 3T levels tested? Now, I will not recommend that you do this test as part of your standard thyroid panel testing because this test is expensive and a lot of medical aids or medical insurance will not pay for it or they may only pay a portion of it so you might have to pay most or all of the costs for this test out of your own pocket. One of the biggest reasons is when your thyroid hormones have been optimized and you have been feeling worse and you know that you have been under periods of stress, then it actually might be worth your while to get your reverse D3 tested. I will also recommend that you do your full thyroid panel test. That is your TSH, your free T4, your free T3, as well as your two antibody tests, the TG, TGAB, as well as TPO antibodies. The reason being is that these other tests will probably be normal or within range and if not then you can work with your doctor to make sure that those levels are being optimized. But the chance is that these level tests are probably going to be completely within range and then the reverse T3 test shows its true value because then it shows that something is wrong, that the T4 is not being converted in the right format of T3 for your cells 
to use. So what do you do if you have high levels of reverse T3? Speak with your doctor to actually increase your T3 only medication. You want to give your body more T3 hormones rather than T4 hormones because you don't want to risk that conversion increasing your reverse T3 levels. Secondly, you can also consider supplementing with selenium and zinc. Numerous studies have shown that selenium can actually help to decrease the level of reverse T3 production. And zinc is really great because it can help to increase the conversion of T4 hormones to the active T3 hormones. Lastly, you may need to look at inflammation and whether you might have high levels of inflammation in your body. There are a couple of things that you can do to help uh, reduce the inflammation in your body. First, have a look at your lifestyle and see what you can do to reduce stress. There is also a couple of supplements that I can recommend that you can consider, which have been shown to help reduce inflammation markers in the body. That includes omega-3 oil, curcumin, quercetin, and bromelain. Keep in mind that most doctors will not ask for a reverse D3 test because firstly it is expensive, secondly many medical aids or insurance companies do not actually pay for it or they only pay for a portion of it and thirdly once they have the results they don't really understand what to do with it. So now that you know that reverse T3 might be the underlying cause of your worsening symptoms or the fact that you are just not feeling yourself, it might be worthwhile to speak with your doctor to get it tested. I certainly believe there's huge value in getting your reverse 3T levels tested when it's deemed necessary. So when you have no other explanation of what is going on, you have been eating right, your, your thyroid levels are optimized, and you just don't know why you are suddenly feeling worse than what you normally do. That's it for today. If you have found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you would like to see more videos like these and get notified, please subscribe below and uh, click that little notification bell so that you get notified when my next video is uploaded. I really appreciate you being here. Good luck with your health. If you have any questions, please post in the comments below. I will gladly help where I am able to. Take care, take care of yourself, and I'll chat with you soon.